what's going on guys PSV here and welcome to a video of Euro Truck Simulator 2 with my Logitech G27 here um, today we are basically taking what are we taking we are taking transmissions over to is it Turku Turku or something uh, yeah so we better get going really Let's click no. I've got a feeling that we're going to be late for this job because it's quite it's quite a late job. But we have got Scania truck, what is my own, with the Scania trailer. We're actually right by the Scania test centre. So I hope you all enjoyed. Ouch! Didn't see that post there. <laughs> hope you all enjoyed um, the little video of when we took yeah took the Scania around the Scania test track. That was actually in a live stream. So if you haven't already, please go over and check out my Twitch page and maybe drop a follow. So then you won't miss any more streams because we're streaming quite a lot lately. Also. Um, if you could check out my Facebook and Twitter page, maybe leave a follow and like there, that would be really appreciated. There's always updates going on both of them, quite a few. So as well, if you can hear that squeaking, that is actually my chair. It's quite a squeaky chair. Why is it just? This is one thing I don't understand about the AIs in Euro Truck. Why do they just when they go around the roundabout when they're about to pull off, they randomly stop? It's starting to get quite annoying while they're doing that. So, I'm going to give it a little bit of a talk about the G27 here and it uh, being used with Euro Truck. So, here we go. So, where should we start? We we'll start with the steering wheel. The steering wheel is it, it's amazing. The force feedback on it with Euro Truck, like, I'll just with the turning the force feedback almost kicks in it's perfect I've adjusted a couple of settings on it but everything else is normally standard for the force feedback um, what else do we have the sensibility look if I just turn there it's all perfect there's no lag at all also I've got my fluffy paddles my indicators down here I've got the board look left center I like having it like that just so I can have a little peek out instead of turning it all the way if I'm pulling out of somewhere. So I like to have that. I've got one as my map and then the other one I'm not too sure what that is. Oh yeah, that's a look back. I don't know what that is now. <laughs> the force feedback in it is just amazing. It's nice and smooth as well. So the pedals, obviously the pressure on them are just amazing. It's so realistic how they are. Brake is just <laughs> quality to be honest. The gears, I've got no problem with them. I think they're the greatest thing anyone could actually think of putting into a, a steering wheel. It is great. I really do like them. It makes it more fun. It actually feels like you're in that lorry driving it. Obviously, like the gear ratio, or not ratio, but it goes up. This has got 12 gears. Oh, we had a bit of lag there, I do apologise about that. I just... My computer being a bit nuts. And, uh... It goes up in twos. So it starts at two, four, six, it goes... Um, like, even. Or, or it goes up in odd. Like, obviously, you know what odd and even is. So it goes up like that like so there is a way you can select it so you can actually choose it goes up in twos or 
grows up in twos, they all grow up in twos, or if it starts at two or starts at one, so old and even. But for some reason, mine just seems to decide on its own if it wants to be in odd or even. So, but I'm fine with that, to be honest. It's all cool. So you are belting it along here, really, aren't we? Come on, mate. Let's go, mate. Mate, you could have gone, to be honest. Let me go, but I probably kept it. I didn't have the indicator on. Whoops. So I feel like this comes like here. lever as well, just the feel of it, all of it put together, it's just an amazing product really. This actually cost me 199.99 and uh, it's definitely worth every penny of it, if I say so myself. That was close right now, anyway. there you are. get your clutching right up here soon. Surprised we didn't get fined for that. I was actually quite lucky there. Oh, 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 oh! Sorry about that, Mr. Van. So I'm still getting the grips a bit, you know, but I think I'm getting there slowly. It's the back end that I'm terrible at. So please, don't expect nothing from the back end. And this stupid chair, when it's squeaking, it's so annoying me. I do apologise, it's only literally when I started recording it's hard to squeak as much. It's all nice and sturdy as well on the desk, what is quite cool. So, so you ain't got none of this, whoa, just slide around everything. The pedals, I've actually got a carpet floor in my bedroom. And the pedals, they're actually underneath, they've got a carpet grip. And it works like hell, no slipping or anything with it. So we're heading into Dock of the Bays. <laughs> Sit down. Oh god, let's not start now. Right, so we've got to go over here. Force feedback. Like if you hit the bumps and the steering wheel jolts and if you crash it jolts and everything. It's, it's, it's totally amazing. I just love it. And especially with this game, this is my favourite game of it so far. I've got a city car driving, but I'm still getting a grip to that and I'm not going to make videos because at the moment of that. I'm pretty naff at it. So we just want to go straight over. All I can say is that I think I'm going to be late for this job. Because I had to go and have a doze. Because I think it's better doing these type of jobs when I'm recording in the daylight. I just think it's so much better. Our time remaining five hours. How long have we got till we get there? I don't know, I haven't picked it up yet. Wait until we get out of the ferry, then it'll pick up. Um, so I'm just didn't mean to stop right then. That's what I mean, the brakes are so good. Watch the force feedback. <laughs> oh, I forget the brakes are so good you just seem to stop.
I love the force feedback, it's just so cool. God, when I was filming or live streaming, I was like, it's actually a live stream. When I done that, uh, took the scan your, uh, scan the test track. Uh, the, my mum was actually asleep because I was actually recording this. I was actually went there about half 11, 12 at night. It was the last kind of thing that I did on my live stream. <laughs> it was so funny because it was just going, it was going nuts around the test track. I was like, oh god, I hope you don't wake my mum up because uh, I think I've got a slightly bit of trouble. But it was quite fun. I'll definitely do that again. So we're nearly there, 21 minutes. So. Start taking around. Thank you, Mr. Green Light. So sorry if I go quiet for a minute. Then I, I was just sometimes I just get in the zone, just like forget that you're actually recording. <laughs> now this is the truth, guys. I'm terrible at parking the trailers. So please. Don't want to, if you want to see someone fail, keep watching. If you don't, then thanks for watching. So guys, please ensure to give this a thumbs up, and I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm sorry it's only a little journey, but I wanted to get a Euro Truck video out for you. If you could leave in the comments below some topics maybe you want me to talk about, because it makes it a bit more easier for me to talk, because these are quite long, I'm just like, 
Doo -ba -doo. Not really knowing what to talk about. So please ensure to give this a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to check out my Twitch page because I do do quite a lot of streaming on there. And thanks again for tuning in. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Cheers, guys. Thank you.